Hey guys, this is story time. I have a story to tell you um, for both channels, your inner chakras and the Pisces channel, because my channel is all about relationships and whatever else falls out, right? So I watch a lot of romance shows, single shows, getting married shows, and then I also follow and watch things on YouTube that has to do with, uh, let me light my candle, that has to do with uh, relationships, right? So this morning I came across this one thing that I don't know if you guys ever found yourself here, but if you do, just be careful, but I will link it below. So basically this lady, she said, um, she was on her crying. She met this guy, the love of her life or whatever. And they had been dating for about six months or something like that. And she said that he met her family, her mom, um, he's been around, um, they hung out in Vegas. She posted him like many videos on TikTok. She says she's an artist, but she really posts on Instagram, right? But on TikTok, it's not her name, but it was still her face. There were still videos. They were in the car hugging, kissing, checking in hotels, like just living the life, right? And she says she loved this guy. So attentive. They called each other king and queen. He wasn't married. She's not married, you know, this and that. So they both live in North Carolina. And I'm saying it because she said it, but you'll see the videos. They both lived in North Carolina, but they lived like uh, three hours apart. And um, he had to go work on this house or something like that, but she wanted to surprise him. I think he had to go to work, but he was working on a house. He had to do something. And she wanted to surprise him. So she decided on herself, like he, he never hid his address. He never hid. He said, this is my address. This is where I live. I'm working on his house, all this stuff. But she has still never really met his family or his friends or anything like that. But he met her friends, her family. He's been to her performances. He's been everywhere. He's just, she's mad posting him on TikTok or whatever. So she was like, hey, this is the best thing since sliced bread, right? So she calls him and then he was acting weird. He's like, where are you at? She goes, oh, I'm just taking a ride, you know, blah, blah, blah. But she stopped at her cousin's house and the cousin was like an hour and a half from where he was. So she said throughout the conversation she could feel he was kind of like antsy like a little bit and then they was going to make plans to hang out somewhere he goes yeah i'll meet you at this time blah 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 then he said something happened with the sink he was outside then he said he ain't gonna be able to meet her because now it's flooding you know this and that and she was like you know what call the professionals right but she shows up because she was already halfway there so she shows up at this house where he's not married. He doesn't have any kids. He doesn't have a wife. He doesn't have anything. And she goes, right? She knocks on the door. Well, his wife of seven years answered the door. Hmm. His wife of seven years answered the door. She said they immediately started cursing and this and that. And she said, I would never talk to him like that and blah, blah, blah. And we never talked to each other like that. Well, first of all, lady, you wasn't married to him. Secondly, a woman just showed up at this wife's door talking about, hey, um, three, wife should snap. She should. She has every reason to call him everything in the Webster Dictionary as she so pleases. Like, you can't take that from her. But I understand the other lady, too, because he was giving you this life that he's free. He's single. Y'all doing everything. Y'all living like he's single. You posting like he's single. Man, single, right? So wife snaps. Wife pulls the G on the husband. Then she pulls the G on this woman. Woman backs up. She's like, hey, yo, hey, hey, hey. I don't want this. I don't want it, right? Woman leaves. But then she gets back on TikTok. Now she's crying and she's whining. And she goes, I don't know how this happened. He was the love of my life. I don't know how this happened. I didn't see it. Da, da, da. I don't know. I didn't see it. I didn't know he was married. Blah, blah, blah. And she's still crying. And then she did part two, part three, part four. Right? And I'm, I'm just going to say it. But I'm going to sum it up really, really quick. Lady. After you went to this man's house and this woman comes out and she's acting a fool and she said that they're married and you still can't believe that they're married. I, I, and then she's in her fourth video. She goes, I don't even know if he's even married. OK. Well, if you really want to know if he's married, lady, and if you really because her mother's like, you're going to go back. I think her cousin said you're going to go back and she's breaking down and she's crying now. And I don't know. And I love him and this and that. Well, lady, let me tell you something. Before you decide to go back, first of all, he has, he's a hell of a liar. 
He is a hell of a liar. Whether he's married to that woman or not, he didn't give a F about her feelings or yours. He didn't care who saw him on social media. But for you, Miss Lady, if you really want the answer, it's really easy. You go to the state that he's living in. You can do it all online. You go to public records. You type in his full name. And you check up, you check the marital, the marital status to see if he's married or not. It'll tell you if he's married, it'll tell you if he's not, right? Let's say he's not married. Do you really give a fuck at this point? Do you really want that lying ass man at this point? Do you really want that raggedy ass man at this point? Even if he's not married, he played you and another lady that he was with for seven years and they have several kids, right? Hmm. Let's say he is married. You can find that out today. It's public records. It's probably $19.95, $9.99, It's cheap, guys. If you want to know if someone is married, it's real simple. So now she's sitting there and she's crying and she's whining and this and that. Lady, I feel for you. I do. But that wasn't the love of your life in five, six months. That was excitement in five, six months. That was wow. That was newness. That was, she said they didn't have sex until like maybe two weeks before she showed up at his house. But it was newness. It was, wow. Y'all was just living a life. And that's what happens in the beginning. It's all of this this fake fluffing to make it look good sound good i don't know what you offered the man i don't know but he played you he did so ladies and men if you're dating someone and they've met your whole god dang on family sat with your family ate with your family Talks to your family, texts, emails, Merry Christmas, happy, this and that. You would think that's the one. Pay close attention. If you never met his family, sat with his family, her family, broke bread with the family, can't hang out with the family, it's not equal. The playing field's not equal. He's hiding something. She's hiding something. The playing field's not equal. Until you can sit down and break bread and have barbecues and this and that the same way that he does at yours, it's not equal. So don't find yourself there, guys. If you find yourself dating a man or a woman and you're trying to piece his ass together, stop trying to piece their asses together. People give you what they want to give you. They show you what they want to show you. It's not hard. It's not hard. Now, if you find yourself sitting back and it's more... Hmm. Then it is facts. Back up, guys. Like, I'm so serious. I feel bad for both women. Wife didn't need this. Other woman didn't need this. They was probably two great women. I don't know. I don't know. But that man got some issues and concerns. Is that a narcissist or just a plain old asshole who just don't give a fuck about people? I think he's an asshole who just don't give a fuck about people. I'll say it. Lady, I feel for you. I hope you can get back and i hope you can trust again same with the wife i hope you can get back i hope you can trust again because that's tough guys and then i'm just going to i'm gonna add the link below but baby if you can share 100 percent of yourself with a person and your life on the other side and they only give you one percent and the one percent is they come see you y'all go to the movies y'all hang out they give you gifts y'all this and that Y'all been around each other for a very long ass time. You ain't met family. You ain't met kids. Y'all ain't hung out. You ain't break bread. Y'all ain't did no football, baseball, none of that. Y'all ain't done shit except hold up in a hotel room or at your place. That's a problem. That's a problem, guys. It's a problem. Now, and I'm going to leave this here. And then I'm going to link the video where I found it from, guys. And if you find yourself here or even thinking that you're here, back up. And also, people, if you're messing with a married man and a, or a married woman and you know they're married, like you know they're married and they're like, I'm getting a separation, we're separated, and they probably are, and he lives over here in the apartment and the woman's still in the house, guess what? They're still married. They're still married. 
which means they have history, which means they can get past things if they so choose, which means they can easily fall back in love. They have history. They know each other through and through. And if they tell you they're getting separated, then back the F up until they're separated, until they're divorced. People, guys, have been separated for five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten years. And people are like, I'm getting a divorce, I'm getting a divorce. And then they'll tell this man or this woman, it's complicated, it's money, it's this and that. What about my kids? And as long as your ass is sitting there playing that violin, letting them sing these songs to you, every month it'll be a new lie. Every month it'll be a new reason. So if you find yourself messing with a married person that's separated and divided, they're still married. They're still married. And there's a reason why they're not getting a divorce. It could be money. It could be cheaper to keep her. It could be cheaper to keep him. They could be going at it. They can be fighting over kids. They can have businesses. A separation don't mean shit. That's just like, I'm going to go get a hotel room for the weekend because I'm mad at my husband. Then I'm going to come back. Guys, a separation ain't shit. They're still married. They're still married. Through and through. Through and through. That's all I have to say on this. Pay attention, guys. I'm going to link it below. Peace.